Okay, today we're going to show you a shooting. Uh, this is a model HTG 400. And uh, this is a full featured cylindrical grinder. You have uh, automatic uh, advance of the wheel slide. You have uh, pick feed for the uh, traverse grinding left and right. You also have uh, straight in plunge grinding with a coarse and a fine feed. And then in the end, you have a spark out. Uh, you have a variable control uh, for the grinding headstock here, the work headstock. It's got a mechanical variator built inside, so when it's running, you rotate this dial on the top to change the RPM. It's got a coolant system here with baffles, connects right up to the machine, plugs in the back. Over here, you have your main controls. There's basically six of them. And up here, you've got your turning on of the electric things, your hydraulic, your spindle, main uh, off switch, and a couple of different uh, modes that you can select. And of course, we have the tailstock over here. Now, this is a Morse taper number three. In the tailstock for the center is a Morse taper number three. And the center uh, in the headstock is a Morse taper number four. You also have a thread on the OD of this. It's an M48. That's a metric thread. Uh, so when you want to get accessories for this, they are available to either screw onto that thread or a flange or a faceplate that will go into that number four taper and be locked in uh, from the rear with a drawbar. This is also a live and dead uh, center. So you can run this as a live spindle with a chuck on it or you can run it as a dead center with a driving plate for between center work. This has a 14 inch grinding wheel and as you see here it'll take at least a two inch wheel on there. Uh, you have a coarse adjustment of the wheel slide. The upper part of the wheel spindle housing uh, slides back and forth in a parallel, uh, uh, parallel direction uh, so you can go further or closer in depending on the kind of work you're doing. Uh, this machine is currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. And uh, we had this machine uh, part here in the shop, did a lot of work to it because uh, we liked it. Um, uh, sometimes you have to uh, go a little bit beyond. Uh, this was scraped originally in Switzerland. This is a Swiss machine. Uh, it's from 1980. Uh, we determined that uh, it would be best off if we had the ways on it rescraped. That means your surfaces on the base of the machine, the flat and the V for the, for the longitudinal slide, and you flatten your V for your, for your cross slide, as well as uh, its matching uh, slide on top. So this has all been rescraped by a, a very reputable uh, machine tool rebuilder that we have in the area. It comes in and does a lot of work for us. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that make this a high precision machine, not just the scraping, it's just the whole package, the way this was built, the rigidity of the machine. Uh, it's really, uh, most people are very happy with them. I'm going to go ahead and start this up now. Uh, I'm going to start the hydraulics. It's very quiet, you can hardly hear that. I'm going to start the grinding wheel. It's going to be a little noisier because you're going to hear the fan motor uh, sucking air into the back of it. So that's our spindle. The machine is controlled basically by this one lever once you've got everything set the way you want it. First position will start your grinding, your work head, and I can increase or decrease the speed of that. The second lever brings your wheel slide in from its rear position. And then when you go into your last position, you're going to start to feed with the hand wheel here down to zero. You have a dead stop here on the side. I want to make sure that that's in. Your speed is controlled right here. I can slow this down or speed it up. And it stops. It goes into its fine feed. I open that up. So now you got two feeds. You don't have to use both. Gets to zero. Stays there for a few seconds. Now you've got a timer up here, potentiometer. You can set that for different times. So we come in, we feed down. There's a little dot on the dial here and a set screw on the side. You can adjust that inner ring to have that fine feed start whenever you want. I'll show you that once again. So there's these two knobs down here that control the speed of that coarse feed and the fine feed.
Okay, if I'm not going to use that, I'll shut it off. Now we bring our head in. And I can start my table moving. This bottom knob on the center is my longitudinal table. So each time I reverse, I'm feeding here. The amount that that feeds, you adjust with the knob down here. Also, if you want to feed on both sides, you have the described line on this dial showing you that you're feeding on both sides. I could turn it to the right and only feed on the right side, or turn it to the left and only feed on the left side. The other knob on the top here is a dwell or a tarry. You want to crack that open, you're going to, you're going to stay a little longer on each, on each reversal before it starts to move over. Up here on your electrical cabinet, you've got your timer for your spark out. But when you're doing uh, traverse grinding like this, you want to have it set on one of these arrows that show you the two arrows going left and right. That way it's always going to stop and kick out at one of these stops and not in the center of your workpiece. It's the idea of that. Well, this will just keep going back and forth until it gets down to zero and then start its spark out process. Let's just uh, help it along a little bit. All right, so now it's gotten to zero, and hopefully it's only going to kick out when it gets to the end of one of the stops. There you go. So that's the shooting, HTG 400, uh, rescraped, repainted, refurbished, not completely rebuilt, but in excellent condition. Uh, we have it here at Machinery Values. Thank you very much.